What's going on everybody? It's Brian and I'm back with another video. If this is not your first time here, then welcome back. I love to see you. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, scroll on down that page a little bit more, find the subscribe button, click subscribe, and while you're at it, click that bell icon. That way you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. So I'm sorry if I'm sitting at a weird angle today. I am actually holding my macbook i'm doing a what's on my 2020 macbook pro video today so i'm showing you guys how i've customized my my macbook um how i use it for product productivity and also how i keep it nice and decluttered so um without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video so before we get into like what's actually on the macbook let's talk about what's physically on the macbook so as you guys can see i have a bunch of stickers up here i didn't have any type of like theme or vibe that i was going for i literally just picked stickers that i liked and I either made them or ordered them from an Etsy shop. So the ones that I made, um, I made this holographic WTF one and this um, MTV inspired. And then I made another holographic one, which is an Uno card. Um, I also did a holographic one with this semicolon. Um, then I did this black is gold one, the champagne poppy one, because you already know it's Drake vibes. And then I made the it's either Beehive or Flea Hive sticker because that's self-explanatory. And those can actually be purchased from my online store. And I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. It's called Kamora Chloe. Check it out if you have not. A sticker from uh, one of my family members, her business, Bobby made this. She was actually featured on Tia Mowry's Quick Fix and also on BuzzFeed several times. And she's even on the Beyonce Black Parade website. I'll leave a link to her, um, her shop in the description box below. I grew up in the 90s and 90s these R&B and rap and black movies were like my thing growing up. So it was only right I got a couple of stickers with that in mind. So I have this one from Friday which is just Smokey and his blunts. <laughs> and then I have another one with Ashtray. I think his name was Ashtray from Don't Be a Menace to South Central which is one of my favorite movies. Um, and then I also have um, a Biggie one. And I ordered those three from this Etsy shop called Inception Company. I got the Yikes sticker as well as the I'm Addicted to TikTok one, the Adidas cap, and the music symbol. I got that from Crafty Katie on Etsy. To protect all of my stickers and to protect my MacBook itself, I got this crystal clear um, MacBook case from Amazon, and I'll leave a link to it in the description box. So this is my home screen, and basically what I just have here is this collage that I put together, and I basically made it in Photoshop. So I pulled pictures from like either pictures that I have with like my family, my friends, or empowering quotes. Since I'm so big on pictures, I wanted to create a home screen that had pictures of everybody that I care about, as well as some aesthetic pieces. Over on the right side of the screen, I house all of my folders as well as my monthly goals list. And what I basically did was when I was creating the collage I had in mind that I wanted to have a space to put all of my folders and, and that list that wasn't you know obstructing the view of any of my pictures. Now when it comes to my folders I just found out in Big Sur you can actually or I don't know if you could do this before Big Sur but I discovered it when I updated my MacBook to Big Sur. Um, I found that you can customize your folder icon, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Uh, so let's say you're creating a new folder for your Photoshop documents or something like that. Anyway, so you create the folder, or if you already have a folder created, then hey. Anyway, um, basically you can just go online, find some like icons, or you can make your own in Canva or something like that. And there's tons of like tutorials on YouTube to show you how to make icons. As for me, I already have some saved here in my documents folder. Find the icon that I want to use. So the icon I want to use is Photoshop. And what I'll do is open it in the preview app. And you have to do it this exact way because if you don't do it the right way, it will not give you the desired effect. Double click it to open up the icon in preview and then you're going to go to edit and click copy. And then go over to the folder you created, right click or if you're using the trackpad then you know two finger press to get to the menu, open, get info and then Right at the top where it says the folder name, which is Photoshop in my, my case, you click on the folder there and it's going to highlight the folder and then you're going to go to edit and then paste. And that's how you set your custom folders. So also on my desktop, I have a couple of folders. Again, I like I don't like a lot of clutter. Um, now, I'm not trying to say that my desktop always looks like this because it absolutely does not. If I'm working on a project or something, my desktop looks 
hella crazy. I have a couple of different folders here that live on a, the desktop. It's not going anywhere. Uh, one folder that I have is my to-do list, my to-do folder. And it's basically where I house like um, any files for like any videos that I have to edit. I have a folder for social. Um, so basically just any pictures that I've posted on social media, I keep there until I move it over to my hard drive. And then I have a folder for photos. And basically it is pictures that I've either taken for, for campaigns or pictures that I've taken for clients. So another thing that I did to customize my MacBook is I set up hot corners. If you ha don't use them, you absolutely should because it just makes life so much more simple. So just to kind of show you guys how I have mine set up and I'll show you guys how to set it up in a second for yourself. But um, basically in my top left corner, if I hover over that corner or move the mouse there, it'll open up my screensaver, which is this analog clock that I have set. Um, and I'll leave a link in the video description below to show you guys how to actually install that on your MacBook um, because I can't remember how I did it. <laughs> and then um, top right corner, basically it opens up my notification center as well as my widgets. Bottom right corner opens up my launch pad and I'm not going to move my mouse over to the bottom left corner because that locks my computer and I'm screen recording as well as recording this video we ain't doing all that because i don't know if it's gonna stop the recording or not so that's how i have my hot corner set up and if you want to set it up for yourself basically all you have to do is go into system preferences go to desktop and screensaver click on the tab that says screensaver and at the bottom right of that menu there's hot corners it'll open up a menu and you basically can set how you want your hot corners to react so while we're here we're talking about the apps as you can see my launch pad probably doesn't look as cluttered as it comes stock that's because i moved all of the stock apps that come installed on the macbook apps that i really don't use like that or don't use frequently into like one or two folders here so again these are most of most of the apps that came installed on the macbook like the text edit and the disk utility system information then there's even more of the stock apps so the mail app contacts stocks news all that stuff I don't really use like that so it's all consolidated in that one spot there another folder with basically all of my Canon utilities so I have the Canon um, utilities driver installed so I can use my laptop to see what I'm recording when I film my videos all of that's there in one folder So basically here in the launch pad I have everything out that I use frequently like the app store safari and there's also the calendar app then i have the stickies app the notes app, facetime because i'm always facetime and there's also the messages app system preferences photoshop the cricut design space because i have a cricut machine and i use that for business i have the adobe lightroom classic because i'm a photographer I also edit all my pictures in Lightroom. I have Final Cut Pro, which I use to edit all of my videos. Adobe Acrobat, there's GarageBand, and I use GarageBand to edit my podcast. And then I have QuickTime Player as well as TikTok. Not TikTok. <laughs> See, I spend too much time on TikTok. Like, I have TikTok, which is my favorite app right now. I like to set daily to-do lists. And with the TikTok app, basically what it is, is you install it, and I'll leave their link in the description box as well. But you install it and you can set up your like daily to-do list or whatever to-do list you have. And it lives here in the taskbar. So whenever you click the tick tick icon in the taskbar, it'll bring up all your tasks. I'm very list oriented and I like to plan my days. The fact that I have them there listed and as I, I complete things, I can check them off and then I can actually see what I completed. And it just makes me feel good. I feel motivated, you know? Moving right on along, what I found out recently is that with Safari, you can actually change the launch background that's another way that i've customized my macbook and again just to keep it kind of on on brand and aesthetic i basically just have this marble backdrop here um over to the the left side of the screen is where i have my dock and a lot of people keep that dock on the bottom and i don't like to do that just because of the fact that i'm always moving my mouse down here i'm less likely to move my mouse all the way to the left side of the screen so having my dock over there kind of keeps it out of the way until I'm actually ready to access it or see it. It makes me anxious when there's a lot of stuff showing. <laughs> so that's why I hide my dock and then when I'm ready and I intentionally go over to open something, 
I can see the dog and then when I move the mouse away, it goes away. It, it just bothers me. I don't like it. So yeah, that's all that I have on my MacBook Pro. If you have anything that you've seen in this video that you would like for me to go a little bit more in depth with, just leave me a comment in the comment section below. I will definitely make that video for you. Also, if you have any video suggestions, please drop a comment below. If you're liking these, these Apple product videos, then let me know as well and I will try to do my best to make more of them. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Scroll on down the page a little bit more, find the subscribe button, click subscribe. While you're there, click the bell icon. That way you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Anyway, you guys, I'm out of this joint. Until next time. Bye.